The Copper Scroll Treasure An ancient copper scroll, discovered at the site of Qumran in 1952, might describe a massive amount of hidden gold and silver, but no one knows where that treasure might be or if it even exists. The Copper Scroll is part of the extraordinary cache of first-century documents first discovered in caves at Qumran, popularly known as the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Copper Scroll, however, is very different from the other documents in the Qumran Library. In fact, it is so anomalous among the Dead Sea Scrolls, its author, script, style, language, genre, content, and medium all differ to the other scrolls, that scholars believe it must have been placed in the cave at a different time to the rest of the ancient documents. While the other scrolls were written on parchment or papyrus, this scroll was written on metal, copper mixed with about 1% tin. Unlike the other scrolls, which were literary works, the copper scroll contained a list. It was no ordinary list, Rather, it contained directions to 64 locations where staggering quantities of treasure could be found. 63 of the locations refer to treasures of gold and silver, which have been estimated in the tons. Tithing vessels are also listed among the entries, along with other vessels, and three locations featured scrolls. One entry apparently mentions priestly vestments. In total, over 4,600 talents of precious metal are listed on the scroll, making the total haul worth in excess of a billion dollars. Researchers believe that the scroll might describe a treasure that was hidden by locals to keep it out of the hands of Roman forces during the area's frequent revolts against the empire. Disappearance of the Sank Singdui In 1929, a man repairing a sewage ditch in China's Sichuan province uncovered a treasure trove of jade and stone artifacts. But their significance wasn't understood until 1986, when archaeologists unearthed two pits of Bronze Age treasures, such as jades, about 100 elephant tusks and stunning 8 feet high, 2.4 meters, bronze sculptures that suggest an impressive technical ability that was present nowhere else in the world at the time. But who created these hidden wonders? Researchers now believe that members of the Sank Singui civilization, a culture that collapsed between 3000 and 2800 years ago, made the artifacts. Archaeologists now know that the Sank Singui once inhabited a walled city along the banks of the Minjiang River. But why they left this city, and why they buried so many artifacts in pits before absconding, is the source of much speculation among researchers. In 2014, researchers presented one idea at the meeting of the American Geophysical Union in San Francisco, suggesting that an earthquake 3,000 years ago may have rerouted the city's river, causing the inhabitants to move. The Kotshi Bib this mysterious 93-mile-long, 150 kilometers, stone wall in Jordan was first reported in 1948, and archaeologists still aren't sure why it was built, when it was built, or who built it. The wall runs north-northeast to south-southwest and contains sections where two walls run side by side, as well as sections where the wall branches off. Though today the wall is in ruins, in its heyday, most of it would have stood about 1 meter high and just 0.5 meters wide, it's unlikely that the Kot Shibib was built to keep out invading armies. However, it may have been constructed to keep out less threatening enemies, like hungry goats, for example. Traces of ancient agriculture to the west of the wall suggest that the structure may have served as a boundary between ancient farmlands and the pastures of nomadic farmers, according to archaeologists with the Aerial Archaeology in Jordan project. Shroud of Turin 
Perhaps no archaeological discovery is more debated than the enigmatic Shroud of Turin, which many believe to be the burial shroud of Jesus Christ. This long piece of twill cloth bears traces of blood, as well as the darkened imprint of a man's body. The Catholic Church officially recorded the existence of the shroud in 1353 AD, which is when the cloth showed up in a church in Lyrie, France. But the legend of the shroud dates back to 30 AD or 33. According to that legend, the shroud was transported from Judea to Edessa, Turkey, and later to Constantinople. When Crusaders sacked Constantinople in 1204 AD, the cloth was moved to Athens, Greece, where it was allegedly held until 1225 AD. It wasn't until the 1980s that researchers got their hands on the cloth to try to determine its true age using radiocarbon dating. They determined that the alleged burial cloth of Jesus was actually created between 1260 AD and 1390 AD. In other words, the scientists determined that the cloth is most likely a medieval forgery. However, Critics of this research argue that the scientists may have dated newer portions of the shroud that were stitched together centuries after Jesus' death, which would explain why the shroud seems newer than it really is. The Big Circles Stone circles, dating back 2,000 years, and dotting the Jordanian countryside have scientists scratching their heads. Known simply as the Big Circles, 11 of these structures have been spotted so far in Jordan. The circles are about 400 meters in diameter and are just a few meters high. None of these short-walled circles have openings for people or animals to walk through so it's unlikely that they are ancient examples of livestock corrals, according to archaeologists. So what exactly were they for? No one knows. Researchers are now comparing the big circles with other circular stone structures in the Middle East to figure out their mysterious purpose. The Cockno Stone In 2016, archaeologists in Glasgow, Scotland, excavated a 5,000-year-old stone slab and its enigmatic history. The so-called Cockno Stone measures 13 by 8 meters and contains swirling patterns known as cup and ring marks that have also been identified at prehistoric sites in other parts of the world. The slab may be an example of ancient artwork, according to Kenny Brophy, an archaeologist and senior lecturer at the University of Glasgow. Researchers who studied the Concho stone in the 1930s believed the stone's inscriptions may have been linked to astronomical phenomena, like eclipses, but Brophy doesn't think that's the case. He and his team of researchers are currently studying the stone more closely to discern how prehistoric people may have used it. The Rongorongo Tablets Found on Easter Island, home of the giant Moai statues, the Rongorongo Tablets are possibly even more mysterious than the Moai. The intricate designs appear to be glyphs, or a form of writing, but the meaning of the glyphs has never been deciphered. Some believe that decoding the mysterious writing could offer answers into what caused the collapse of the ancient Easter Island civilization. The age of the tablets is unknown, as very little direct dating has been done, but they are believed to have originated around the 13th century, around the same time as forest clearing. However, this is merely speculative as the inhabitants of Easter Island may have felled a small number of trees for the specific purpose of creating the wooden tablets. One glyph appears to resemble a palm tree and is thought to be the Easter Island palm, which disappeared from the island's pollen record in 1650, suggesting the script must be at least that old.
Volgograd discs. A team of investigators in Russia found more than a dozen stone discs in the Volgograd region of Russia. At the time of the discovery back in 2015, the team claimed that the discs contained tungsten, a high-density metal that has applications in military technology. While the nature of the discs remain a mystery, ufologists alluded to the discs being debris from an ancient spaceship. Some UFO skeptics believe that the discs were not man-made, but that their shape is simply the result of erosion. The Long U Grottoes Located near the village of Shurian Beitsuan in Zhejiang Province, China, lie the Long Yu Caves, an extensive, magnificent and rare ancient underground world, considered in China to be the ninth wonder of the ancient world. Thought to date back at least 2,000 years, the Long Yu Caves, also known as the Xi'ananhai Stone Chambers, represent one of the largest underground excavations of ancient times and are an enduring mystery that have perplexed experts from every discipline that has examined them. Despite their size and the effort involved in creating them, so far no trace of their construction, or even their existence, has been located in archival sources. Although the overall excavation involved almost a million cubic meters of stone, there is no archaeological evidence revealing where that quantity of stone went, and no evidence of the work. Moreover, there is not a single historic document that refers to them, which is highly unusual considering the sheer scale of the project. The origin of the Long Yu Caves is a complete and utter mystery. The Gate of the Sun On the southern shore of Lake Titicaca in Bolivia, at an altitude of 3,825 meters, lies the ancient city of Tiwanaku. Also known as Tiwanaku, this was once the capital of an empire that extended into present-day Peru and Chile, home to a pre-Columbian culture which flourished from 300 to 1000 AD and believed to have been one of the most important cities of ancient America. Originally researchers suggested that the Tiwanaku ruins dated back to 14,000 BC, but more recent methods have led them to believe that it was founded sometime between 300 BC and 110 AD. Within the ruins of its enormous courtyard, archaeologists discovered a mysterious megalithic structure which is known as the Tiwanaku Sun Gate. Measuring 3 meters tall by 4 meters wide, the Gate of the Sun is a gigantic arch carved into one single block of andesite volcanic stone. Said to weigh at least 10 tons, it can be viewed today where it was found, although it is believed that this is not its original location, which remains uncertain. The Tiwanaku Sun Gate has baffled experts since it was first discovered. The figures that decorate the stone are believed to have astronomical connotations and resemble human-like beings with wings and curled-up tails, and appear to be wearing rectangular helmets, although interpretations differ. If correctly deciphered, scientists believe they could be of great astronomical value. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.